Worcester Bosch Boiler Service and TB0138, so that's a technical bulletin from Worcester, and that's talking about the burner seals on the top of the boiler. My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, I'm just going to go through this technical bulletin from Worcester, also go through a few tips on servicing a Worcester Bosch boiler. As always, if you can add a comment below, like, share, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. Um, before you start, before you work on any boiler, if you're a new trainee especially, make sure that you read the installation and servicing instructions for whichever boiler that you're going to work on. Also, if there's any up-to-date technical bulletins from GasSafe or from the boiler manufacturers, just to bear in mind that these instructions sometimes could be out of date. If this boiler is eight, nine, ten years old, it may be they found that there's a problem with that boiler or there's extra guidance for that boiler and it wouldn't be in the original installation instructions. So just, just a tip for you there. Um, so what we'll do, I'm not gonna go through everything with this boiler, but I'm gonna go through as, as many bits and bats as I can. So first of all, when you're gonna work on a boiler, obviously you do your safety checks on the boiler. You'd isolate the boiler, you'd check your fuse spur, make sure you've got a three amp fuse in there, if that's what the boiler requires. Some of the boilers, warm air for instance, it might need a five amp fuse, but again, you check with the with that particular boiler. On this boiler, all we've got, we've got two screws on the top, one on this side and one on this side. So we'd remove them two screws. And then at the bottom, we've got two screws, one on one side and one on the other. They're slightly slanted. The bottom ones sometimes can be a little bit awkward when you put them back together. But we'll have a look at case and I'll show you why on that once we took it off. So I've removed the screws already on this. So we're just going to take the case off. And that just comes off. It is a little bit awkward sometimes, but it's not too bad. I'd just like to thank Custard as well for, for doing these technical bulletins because it's really, really helpful. Not all manufacturers do it. Some manufacturers, they just make the boilers. If there's problems in future, you don't really get to know about it. But Worcester help the engineers with that so we can thank Worcester for that and before we do anything inside this boiler I'd normally be looking inside check to see if there's any leaks see if it's been leaking see if there's any stains at the back of the case because sometimes flues can leak on, on all boilers really for this flues can leak and it can drip down back and on some at Worcester's this gas valve will lower down and it can short the gas valve. We actually, we replaced the boiler once and they'd had engineers out a few different times. Luckily, I only went to replace the boiler. I didn't actually go to do the repair, but if I'm honest with you, I probably wouldn't have known. Um, at that time, I wouldn't have known about that, that, that fault. So what had happened is water had been leaking. Flue, flue was too steep, it not been installed very well. Flue was too steep. The flu seal was leaking, water was dripping down back, and it wasn't a lot of water, condensate really, um, dripping down back and it going on to back a plug on the gas valve and just shot it out. So that's a tip for anybody who's going to be doing fault finding. Another thing is, sometimes you'll come to these and they're all riffled. Now, Worcester say, if it's got a slight riffle on it, it's probably okay. If it's really bad, sometimes they start to leak on here. That's nearly always down to water quality and how the boiler's been installed. So if it was on a heat only boiler, um, sometimes it's just because it's not had a pump over and wired in and it's just not been installed correctly. Now, if we're gonna service this, normally you would check your fan pressures. So it says in the installation instructions to check the fan pressures and you're checking for a negative pressure and that tells you whether or not you need to strip this down. Personally, if I haven't been to a boiler before and it's more than a few years old, maybe three or four years old, I would be stripping it down, almost definitely, and I'd be replacing that seal. But if we have a look in the technical bullet in here, because this is, a lot of people, they just take it as gospel from the installation instructions and they don't strip them down. And you can go to some of these that they get to like eight, nine years old and then 
there's lots of things wrong with them and that's mainly because they've not been um, serviced very well but then you might find you might find seals have gone you might find electrodes have gone you could also find that the expansion vessel on the back has gone or it needs pumping up because it's never been serviced properly it's not the it's not been charged up on a service and, and you can sometimes see other faults as well so it's it's important in my opinion that you service it correctly and yes do the fan pressures for a few years um, but definitely replace that seal at some point um, and if not check it now this technical bulletin this is a technical bulletin and this is from Worcester Bosch and this is 2019 so this is it's nearly three years old now is this technical bulletin in fact it's it's just over three years old is this technical bulletin and what this says is it, it's talking about the green star 24 28 30 fsn gb ri i si i and erp models and what it's saying on this is for any boiler that is five years old at the time of servicing it is re recommended to do additional checks and the additional checks are just on here and it just shows you that you're going to put your flue gas analyzer around this seal up here round the electrodes all the way around the back and just to check this as good as we can and then the results from that will indicate whether or not you need to replace the seal so personally i've had it where it's passed the fan pressure test but then when I've gone to here, it's leaking, is the seal. And then when I've took it apart, the seal's been in a, in, a, in a state, really. So, as I say, I wouldn't just go on that. This is my personal opinion now. You know, speak to Worcester and ask them what they say. But it is in this technical bulletin as well. But when they get to about three or four years old, my, my advice would always be strip it down. The other thing as well is if you leave it too long, if you wait until it gets to, if you wait until it fails, then sometimes if it might be six, seven, could be nine, ten years old. And then what you struggle then is you struggle to get these baffles out of here. What we'll do now, we'll undo this nut off here. We'll take this out. I'll show you the service kit as well. So there's a service kit. We'll take this screw off top of here and I'll show you getting the baffles out of this bit. So to strip this down, all we need to do, take the pin out of the gas pipe. That's one thing to point out as well. Always check that gas pipe. If you get the new burner seal, you can get the new burner seal with the gas pipe in and you could change the gas pipe at the same time because sometimes they split over time. So we just pull that gas pipe out of there and then we disconnect fan, just take wires off the fan there. And then what we'll do, we'll get a ratchet spanner 13 mil spanner now it depends on the model of boiler some of these just have a nut on top of this some of them have like a um, well I'll show you it's like a clip let me just undo this off here I've pre loosened these already just to, just to make it a bit easier and this has got a little clip on this one just that little clip and then what I normally do is I tighten that back down a bit on there. So what I do is I turn this out here because this here, this locks this in place. So this arm, it won't lift forward. So you obviously you've got to make sure that goes back in correctly afterwards. Uh, afterwards. And then normally what I do is I just lift this out here and just put it out here. And then I can just get the arm off, but I can keep this pushed down because sometimes this is quite a small gap here and you struggle to get the uh, you struggle to get it through there but we'll just lift that forward there so I'm just going to pull that plate down a little bit and if you pull that plate down there this will come out quite easy it's not that difficult um, this has been out before but Trini's um, messing with this so pipes come off on back of the fan tube there. So nice, nice and easy. They do come out normally. They come out easy, to be honest. 
and then that's your little service kit with the washer in and the gas pipe in there and I'll just have part number on here and it might be different for different boilers and then what you're going to do then is just pull these leads off the electrodes and then just pull this out of the way and just check the top of these because sometimes these like burn out or will go like really brittle because they've overheated and then all you need to do then is just lift lift that wire out of the way just lift the top of the plate off and then what you do then you'd be inspecting this seal but I would always if you if you take this off here you need to replace that seal anyway and then if we just lift that out and then it's not that not actually that bad oh it's split there it is actually split there yeah so that one actually split that one if you can see through there So that would have been that would have been leaking on this particular boiler. And then what we need, we need a we just need a positive screwdriver for the top, and we'll undo this plate off here, and then we can get a service removal kit in here. First of all, I'll just take this burner out, and again, this is easy to come out if you don't try and um, ram it out. You just try and just do it gently and just feed it out, and then you can get your burner out. And again, it is quite easy to do. The bit that's difficult is this next bit, especially if it's not been serviced for a long time. So I'll just get a screwdriver and we'll take this plate off top. So we've just got a Starship um, or Posi driver for that. And then this plate comes off the top of the boiler. And then we've got we've got a tool kit this is a I think it's a Worcester Bosch part I'll find part number and I'll add it at the side of my ear but what this does this lifts the baffles out and all we need to do is just put that through there to get the baffles out and you've got the big side of it and you've got the small side of it and you put the big side in first and that just goes in there and it's this this first bit normally comes out, out quite easy. So just put that in. And then you just get that out. And now this bottom one that's in there, that is normally a bit trickier. But it's got connection there. It's also got holes on here. So what you can do, which I've done many times actually bent that before but I've bent it back you can use these holes and you can put a big screwdriver on here obviously you need to be careful but again we're going to put that into there but you just get that in and then you just pull that up and again you just pull that baffle out and then you just clean this baffle off so as we, as we see with that what you're doing there when that's right in the heat exchanger you're putting that on there and you're pulling it out as I say it's a little bit awkward just to find how to get that on sometimes and then with the other baffle with that one you're using that end to pull it out and as I say sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get out and then you get your brush and then your brush will just go in there and you can clean that heat exchanger out and as you're doing that you can actually you could take the bottom off on there and you could um, you could vac that out as well but that's your little brush it's it's really good it's really handy but put a comment below, let me know if you, what you'll do to get these baffles out. 
do you pour out in? Different people say different things because um, sometimes they get st stuck in there so you need to try and um, get them out. So put a comment below, let me know what you do. Personally in the past I've used Coca-Cola. Um, I've been told that you shouldn't use Coca-Cola but afterwards I do wash it all out so that I try and make sure that we haven't left any Coca-Cola in afterwards. But when you've got a boiler where heat cell is probably going to be having to be changed it's worth just trying out just to get that out you could take it exchange it out as well but you wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to be doing that if i'm honest with you you're then going to put it all back together in reverse order put a new seal on um so yeah what's the oh and you're going to test it as well with flue gas analyzer make sure you've got correct readings put it in high test it uh, what's the main things that I wanted to um, to give to you on this video really? Um, one is, if you're an engineer, just check up to date technical bulletins. And this might be out of date now, so just check on what's the Bosch and just check if you've got an up to date one on this and any guidance. And if you go into a load of these, you know, once you've gone to one and you know what you're doing, it's going to be easier every time then. Um, some of this I actually find quite easy to take apart and do now because I've done quite a few of them. When I first started doing them, I thought a lot of it were a bit of a pig to do really. I thought it were a bit awkward. Uh, if you're an end user, if you're a customer, if you've got a boiler in your house, what would I like you to take from this video? One is, have your boiler serviced. Really, really important, have your boiler serviced, but also once it's been in a few years and it's been serviced, just ask them if they're going to change seal for you. If it's been in three or four years, just ask them if they think it's a good idea to change the seal. Obviously, they'll be the gas engineer on site. They're going to give you better advice than I can give you over um, on, on YouTube. Um, but sometimes some companies, some big companies, they will never ever strip a boiler down until it breaks down especially if you're on some sort of service contract i'm not saying all companies but some people will come out when it's broken down but then it could just be too late you've left it too late and your boiler's not in the best condition so as an end user my advice get somebody to come and do a proper service for you now and again um strip it down but yeah i'm <laughs> babbling on that as usual um I ain't done one of these bobbling on videos for a while. Um, if you've got any comments, please put a comment below. If you want me to know what else with this video, I've got I've got loads of boilers now. I've got I've even got a new I've got new Navian. That's actually a 54 kilowatt combi. So I've got that. Um, I've got my ideal boilers. I've got Worcester boilers. Um, I've got a new Worcester 4000 now as well. That I'm going to do some videos on. I've got the Viesmans. I've got Alphas. I've got I'm really really kitted up with new boilers now. Um, thanks to Heatable really because Heatable sent me quite a lot of um, products for me to do videos for you and to help with new trainees um, so yeah if you've got any comments please put them below please if you can put a thumbs up on the video really appreciate that and yeah thanks very much thanks for watching